Hey guys, happy Force Friday. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, just got back home from, uh, I'd say it's from a local Toys R Us, but it's not really local. It's about a 45, 40 minute drive away. Um, so I went down there, seven o'clock opening this morning. Um, we didn't have any midnight releases here in Australia this year, so um, there was one store in the city called Zing that opened at midnight, but I wasn't gonna bother, so. And it's, from all accounts, it sounds like it wasn't. It was, sounds like it was okay, but I'm just glad I went to Toys R Us. I got a good night's sleep. Um, so here is what I got. <laughs> Spent too much money, um, but I'm but I'm pretty pretty happy with what I got. Um, so I'll sort of run through with what I got. Um, yeah, it was good good turnout. Um, like six people showed up, all adults, no kids. Um, plenty of three and three quarter figures um, there at this Toys R Us. Um, you know, a f reasonable amount of black series, I don't, they won't last the day. Um, if, if before midday, they probably won't last if everyone's going to show up and buy them. But, um, you know, there was still, after me and five other guys sort of got what we wanted, um, there was still, you know, there was still a good 10, 15 figures left. Um, would have been nice to see a little bit more um, in terms of the new new black series wave but you know everyone's you know if you're gonna go there and make an effort to get there at seven o'clock for opening you're probably you're probably entitled to grab what you want so i just grabbed the two that i wanted um you know there's the new luke and ray but i got the exclusive pack and the thrawn which i got the exclusive as well so decided to leave them for other people so i did pick up hera which is nice that's an awesome figure um i can't wait to crack this open looks nice and the last Jedi Kylo it's you know that face sculpt looks so much better than the than the Force Awakens version of Unmasked Kylo I'm really excited about that one um, picked up the Raftar with Balatik um, wanted to make sure my Force Awakens figure collection was up to date so I had to grab that one um, and I had a choice between the Ray Speeder or Luke Speeder from the Black Series, so I picked up Ray. Um, I'm gonna try and grab the Luke in the next couple of weeks. Um, I really wanted the Luke Land Speeder, but you know, it was a toss up. I had to, you know, there was one left of this and there were three left of the Luke's Land Speeder. So this one seems to be more popular based on, based on just what I chose then. Um, so I decided to grab the last one, last one of that. Um, yeah, that was all it was. It was just, you know, there were three Lukes left, so I figured the Ray one was going to be more popular. Um, but, you know, that that's that could just be me. But, um, yeah, so I'll grab the Lukes Land Speeder in a couple of weeks, hopefully. Uh, three and three quarter inch figures. Hux. Uh, much better looking Hux than the Force Awakens version. But also, you know, I wouldn't say better. It looks good, too. Um, I'll see him with his hat off, so we've got another variation. The mouse droids are bonus too. So the page, new character. So interested to learn more about page. We've got Rose, Paige's sister. Finn. The only one I did uh, skip on was the Poe. Um, it's pretty much the same Poe we got with the Force Awakens in his flight suit. Um, the head sculpt looked new, but it's not different enough. And I've got the black series three and three quarter one, so I decided you know, I didn't really need another one. So I've got Ray. So I'm sure we'll be seeing these sit around the pegs for you know months. But um, Chewy probably didn't need another Chewy, but it comes with a pork. And the Chewy sculpt actually looks pretty good, so. It does look a little bit nicer than the one we got for Force Awakens. And I, like, I do like the picture on the card too, it looks good. But um, yeah, glad to have that one as well. Another 3PO. I feel like you could probably put a 3PO and a BB-8 in a pack or a 3PO and R2 in a single pack and just sell it as droids. Um, there's not a lot to 3PO and this is probably the same sculpt that they use for the Force Awakens one, but whatever. Suckers. Um, Kylo Ren. This one looks pretty sweet. I didn't get the Force Band, which comes with a helmeted Kylo Ren. 
Got Luke. Finally getting some Luke figures, which is great. And around it out, we've got the Stormtrooper. Um, just felt like I should grab a Stormtrooper. I'm not completely sold on the new helmet design. It's a little bit tweaked from the, the Force Awakens version. Um, but we'll see them in action. There's, there's not a lot of difference. There were differences between the Imperials, so... Um, yeah, it's not probably not a big deal. But... Most people probably won't even notice, so... Anyway, guys, that is my score for Force Friday. I look forward to seeing what else, what else everyone else got <laughs> as the as the days roll out, as the Force Friday rolls out around the world. Um, Australia being a little bit a little bit ahead of the US and um, a few other places around the world. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this, guys. Until my next video, may the Force be with you.